My body hurts so bad when you work out and then you over work different body parts. You wake up the next day, your body is crying. Not even when you wake up the next day because it wakes you up throughout the night. Um, I'm really fighting to stay consistent with um, these workouts. It is very, very hard. I'm not going to lie. It's very, very hard. Oh my gosh. Um, just getting over the fact that I've allowed myself to gain weight. Oh my gosh, I've been struggling with that for like the last two months. And it really hit me like, wow, yes, you've gained weight. Uh, but I'm alright. I'm going to be okay. I'm going to be okay. But weight is a, oh my gosh. Men, do, I don't think men understand. I don't think they do. What we struggle and deal with is just insane. Just the body image that you even like just want for yourself and the size and being able to fit in your clothes and look good and feel good and it doesn't matter if other people are like, oh, you look nice. You have to feel it. And I do not feel nice in my clothes anymore. Um, I was looking at pictures from even like the fall of last year and I see the difference in my like my waistline, my hips, my neck, my face, like my cheeks, and I'm not a happy camper. I'm not. I'm not a happy camper. So, um, y'all pray my strength. Ugh. I'm trying to fix this hair. I have my hair pinned up because this jacket, like, it just grabs the hair. It's like a constant. You'll hear that all day, like. But already, um, pray for my mom too. Just health challenges, and I was talking to her and praying with her last night. Just flat out asking her, like, "You're not giving up on you, on me, or you? You know, you're still fighting, right?" And then she's like, "Yes, I am. Hallelujah." I'm like, "Okay." She sounded a little. She just sounded different last night, so. And usually when I hear that sound, I just drop what I'm doing, drive to her house, and but it was kind of like making me crazy. And it was not displaying faith. You know, um, she just sounded a little down or she's tired. You know, God will bring her through. I used to go crazy. I'm serious. If she, you know, like she was talking about um, throat being dry and things like that. And I had it on speaker, and even Jared was like, Mom, let's just go, let's just go. And that type of behavior, like, made me crazy. And it, it started the process of almost kind of, like, making him crazy. I'm like, we can't do this, you know. But, um, I believe she's going to be all right. I believe when I call her in a little bit, like another hour and a half, she's going to be up. She's going to be not so much perky, but up watching TV, nibbling on something, you know. But yeah, um, just really wish that my mom's health was in a better place. Really, really, really do. Um, and I know she missed my dad. She's been with my dad since, oh gosh, I think in her early 20s, like 21, 22. And she missed my dad. He's been gone for nine years. I was just like, oh my gosh. In my head, I kept saying like, oh, he's only been gone five or six or six or seven. But he passed. Let me see. Let me show you. I have him in my car. See it? Hi, Dad. He passed February 18, 2007. It's 2016. 16 take away seven is nine. So, he's been gone for nine short years because it doesn't feel like I want to put my hair down I don't want to get messed up on this jacket alright you guys I'm just rambling alrighty god bless you bye bye